Alright guys, so I do want to start this video by apologizing in advance because I might get angry, I might get loud, I don't know. So just in case that happens, I do want to apologize in advance because I I'm fucking pissed. So for those who don't know, I made a community post a few days ago and that post was about how for some reason PlayStation decided to ban my PSN account. So in this video, I'm actually going to go into more detail about what actually happened and explain to you guys how I got completely screwed over by Sony and PlayStation. So Friday night, I come home from work and then I hop on the game like I always do, right? Then at around midnight, I say maybe 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning, I get an email from PlayStation saying that my account has been suspended. The email reads as follows, your account has been suspended. Hello, what's happened? Your account has been suspended for chargebacks. Why? The owner of the payment method used for a purchase made in your account from the PlayStation Store disputed one or more charges with their payment provider. This resulted in the payment for the content being reversed. In accordance with the PSN Terms of Service, we have suspended your account because a chargeback can indicate that there has been unauthorized use of a payment method and your account now has the benefit of content slash services for which we have not been paid. What now? If you would like to continue to use this account, please click here for additional information. Thank you, the PlayStation team. So after reading this, I'm obviously very confused. It says my account is suspended, but I'm still logged in. I'm still signed in on the game. So I'm thinking, okay, this is probably fake. It's probably just some spam email or something trying to bait me to click on some suspicious link or whatever. But then what do you know? Just a few minutes later, after I received this email, I get kicked off the game. I get logged out of Fortnite. And I see a notification on the top right that reads, your account has been permanently suspended. So I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck just happened so then i tried signing back in and it wasn't working every time i tried to sign in i just kept getting a prompt that read that i can't access the account because it's been permanently suspended so yeah i'm just like i'm confused i don't know what the hell is going on i'm thinking maybe i've been hacked or something but i wasn't hacked because you know i have two-step i would know if somebody was trying to get into my account and then i was like okay maybe somebody's trying to hack my bank account or something and then they made some unauthorized purchase with my card and for some reason this person decided to try to buy something off the playstation store and then my bank decided to dispute the transaction I, I don't know, but then I, I checked my I checked my bank account and nowhere do I see that there has been a canceled transaction. I only made two purchases that week. I spent nine dollars and eighty two cents on the 9th of May and I spent twenty five dollars and twelve cents on the 10th, Wednesday and Thursday, respectively. I did not cancel either of these transactions. I did not contact my bank and say, hey, I don't want to cancel these transactions. I want to dispute these charges. I did not receive any money back. So for them to ban my account because of a chargeback is absolutely ridiculous because I didn't do that. I didn't violate any of their terms of service. But anyway, I clicked on the link that they sent me and then I submitted a request to restore access to my account. And once I did that, they said I had to wait one to three business days to wait for a response. Now, the timing of this was just absolutely perfect because PlayStation's business hours are not on the weekends. But because I submitted this request on Friday night slash Saturday morning, it means I had to wait till Monday at the earliest for a response. At the earliest, it could have even taken longer. So I pretty much lost access to my account for the entire weekend. Now, it wasn't a deal breaker because it was Mother's Day weekend. And because of that, I went out of town on Sunday. Now, surprisingly, I actually did get a response back from them on Sunday, sometime around three or four in the afternoon or something like that. So this was their response. Hi Jadis, thank you for contacting PlayStation support. Your account on PlayStation Network is currently suspended due to recent chargebacks initiated by the owner of the payment method associated with your account. A chargeback happens when your payment service provider, i.e. the supplier of your payment methods such as a bank or PayPal, reverses a payment you made. This results in a debt to us equal to the amount of the chargeback. Following our investigations, we are not aware of any lawful reasons such as fraud or account takeover for the chargeback. As a result, your account will remain suspended until the debt is repaid. Please follow the instructions below to repay the amount you owe and to have your account suspicion lifted. The debt amount on your account is USD 982. Nine dollars and 82 fucking cents these paint sniffling goblins banned my account because i apparently owe them nine dollars and 82 cents like i just said i spent nine dollars and 82 cents on wednesday and when i checked my bank account and looked at my transaction history the nine dollars and 82 cents went through i did not get that money back there is no plus 982 in my bank account nowhere to be found I did not get $9.82 back at all. And in the request that I submitted, I told them that I did not get a charge back. I did not contact my bank to dispute a charge or to cancel a transaction of any kind. I've never done that ever. I've never refunded anything from the places store. I've never done anything like that. And these shit eating Neanderthals still have the audacity to say that I owe them money following our investigations. Who the fuck is running your investigations? AI? Who the fuck is investigating my... There is... There was nothing to investigate. I don't owe y'all shits. 
There is no debt. It's a fake debt. There is no fucking debt. It took these smooth brain idiots two days to realize that I made a transaction. And then for some reason they thought, oh, he must have canceled this transaction. No, the fuck I didn't. And then they just straight up bear me like they don't say, hey, uh, hey, hey, Jadis, uh, there's some weird, there's a weird transaction that was made recently on your account. Did you actually make this purchase? Did you try to cancel a transaction or anything like that? Like, no, they don't, they don't do any of that. No, they didn't do any of that. They didn't try to hit me up and say, hey, let's try to figure this out. Let's try to work with you. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe there was a, maybe there's a bit of a problem making the transaction. Maybe, maybe there was some kind of error or something. Maybe it's something that we missed on our end. Maybe we, maybe we got you mixed up with some other user. Nothing like that. No, it was just an instant permaban. No questions asked. My account was just gone, just like that. And then the debt itself, which is not even actually a debt, it's like, I'm thinking, okay, maybe that I owe them like hundreds of dollars or something, right? Maybe there was some kind of issue with my car that's been happening lately that I didn't know about, and this has been going on for months, and now I owe them like tons of money. And it just, they just didn't notice it until now because now it's actually become a large sum of cash that I owe them. But no, 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 no. I, I, no, it, it's only $9.82. The debt is no more than a Big Mac combo meal for McDonald's. These greasy ass slime balls, man. So I had no choice but to go to a Target, buy a goddamn voucher code. But you see, here's the thing with that though. At one point, there used to be 10 other places of voucher codes. Those don't exist anymore, at least for me. At least for where I'm at, they don't. we don't have 10 other places of voucher codes. It's only $25 and $50. So I had to buy the $25 voucher code. So I had to overcompensate to pay a debt that I don't owe just to get my account back. This, this is unbelievable. So I submitted the code to them that same night and then they told me I had to wait another day for them to restore access to my account. So after all that, I finally got my account back yesterday night. Three fucking days to get it back after all this bullshit. Now the reason why I'm making this video is not just because I have a bone to pick with PlayStation and Sony. I absolutely do. I have a bone to pick with these motherfuckers. I want to call them out and expose them on their bullshit, but I also want to warn other PlayStation users what it is that they're doing. Because if it happened to me, it for damn sure could happen to anybody else. These motherfuckers can wrongfully punish you and take your account away when you did absolutely nothing wrong. And they can just seemingly do it whenever they want. No questions asked. They can just take your account away, force you to give your money so you can get it back, and they can just get away with it. And it just goes to show when it comes to like the digital age, we are at a point now we really don't own anything. Like when it comes to these streaming services, when it comes to your social media accounts, when it comes to your Steam account, your Xbox account, your PlayStation account, your Switch account, any of these things, these companies are proven time and time again that they can take away everything from you whenever they want. You don't actually earn these services. You don't actually own these products. Without access to PlayStation Network, there's a lot of games I couldn't play. You probably hear a lot of people saying this, but it's it's true. It's, it's very true. Physical media is more important now than ever when it comes to like movies and tv shows on the streaming services these companies they can remove it off the streaming service whenever they want and you will never get it back even if you purchase the movie off these streaming services if they remove it off the platform guess what it doesn't matter if you pay for it, it's gone forever but if you own a physical copy of it, if you have it on dvd they cannot take that away you keep you own that you keep that forever they cannot take that away from you and that's the ultimate downside when it pertains to gaming because everything has pretty much become online only in order to play the game you have to access it through the online services without access to online you can't play the game at all now you have these evil companies like sony who did they could feel as though they can just take away everything from you even when you don't break their terms of service at all they just can just do whatever they want so if there's anything to take away from this video just be careful out there these companies are evil pay close attention to your bank account make sure there's nothing crazy going on with your bank account when you're making the transaction through sony because apparently their consumer services team is run by a bunch of koalas who drink nothing but stupid juice all day y'all just be mindful be careful and that's all i really gotta say man I, i'm just i'm just i'm just fucking heated bro like i i this is never ever happened before bro i've had this account since 2012 you know it's just the ps3 days and i wasn't gonna just lose over some bullshit so i mean it's just it's like i've been lying in their pockets for years man and this is this is what i get this is the things i get it's fucking crazy bro anyway I i'll see you on the next one peace out